What's up, everyone? Today is August 12th of 2023, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek, author and webmaster of Gematronator.com. In today's video, we'll be exploring the deep numerical riddles found in the death of Johnny Hardwick, who was not only a producer on the popular TV series King of the Hill, but also played the voice of character Dale Gribble. Now, Dale Gribble is a character I might actually find relatable, as the media labels him a conspiracy nut, much as myself. Now, if you lived through something like coronavirus and vaccine mandates and still use this term to describe someone, you're either a total fool or an arm of the conspiring system, and Rolling Stone certainly qualifies as the latter. Now, one conspiracy theory the media never seems to properly address, however, is the language of gematria, an integral part of numerology that has been the subject of every one of my nearly 700 videos on this channel. The reason it's never really talked about is because this code, which is stunning in its simplicity, reveals deeper truths about our world, particularly when paired with dates on the calendar. Date numerologies, which are taken from the digits in that date, and date durations, the length of time between two dates. King of the Hill takes place in the state of Texas. And in this video, I will, will explain how Hardwick's death is a riddle, connected to both solar eclipses that pass over the state of Texas within the next year, an annular eclipse in 2023, and a total eclipse next April. King of the Hill was written by Mike Judge, or created more accurately. The name Judge has occultic roots in the tarot deck, where the 20th card of the Major Arcana is the Judgment card. Now, Judgment begins with the letters J-U-D, and in Judaism, the Day of Judgment, or Atonement, is Yom Kippur. This brings us to Yankee slugger Aaron Judge, who, on the first night of Yom Kippur last year, broke the American League home run record with his 60-second blast. So this video will also explain how the death of Johnny Hardwick is connected and synced up with Aaron Judge, and that's where we're actually going to start. First, I just want to point out how the name Judge has reversed gematria of 88 this with the alphabetic order reversed. So Z is 1 and A is 26. When King of the Hill made its debut on television all the way back in 1997, this happened to fall 88 days after Judge's birthday. The number 88 appears in the death of Johnny Hardwick, who reportedly died on August 8th, the date written globally as 8-8. However, we didn't hear about Johnny Hardwick's death until August 10th, which is the date when it first made the media here in Rolling Stone and other mainstream outlets. Now, the 10th of August also stood out. Consider Johnny Hardwick's initials, J the 10th letter and H the 8th, 10-8, just like the date of the news. King of the Hill even premiered eight months and ten days before Johnny Hardwick's birthday. But this number 108 is also relevant to Mike Judge. If you pull up his birthday, October 17th of 62, you find that he was born on a date with primary numerology of 108. Now, this is a very significant number to the sport of baseball. Every baseball that's used in a game is made up of 108 double stitches. Using the standard alphabetic order, Major League sums to 108. And in a cipher with capital letters mixed in with the small letters, still based in the alphabetic order, the word baseball also equals 108, as well as 18 in reduction. So last season... Aaron Judge broke the American League home run record by hitting 62 home runs, and this is a number that kept popping up in this decode. 
in reverse reduction, king of the hill equals 62. A significant number of sacrifice. Johnny Hardwick died six weeks and two days before his birthday. But more significantly, as we'll uncover in the second part of this video, Johnny Hardwick died 62 days before the anniversary of Yale University, which falls on a date with primary numerology of 62. Now, for those who have not seen many of my videos this year, Skull and Bones has been all the rage as Yale University, home of the Skull and Bones Society, or Order 322, Yale turns 322 years old here in 2023. So more on this in a little bit. But let's talk about how this connects to Aaron Judge, again, who hit 62 home runs to break the record last year. Measuring from the birthday of Johnny Hardwick to the birthday of Mike Judge gives us four years and 26 days. That number stands out immediately because Aaron Judge was born on 426, April 26th. Aaron Judge was born four months and 26 days before Johnny Hardwick's birthday. When King of the Hill premiered on television, it was one day after Aaron Judge turned four years, 260 days old. And when Johnny Hardwick died, Aaron Judge was 11,426 days old. How remarkable are these alignments? Now, in Gematria, when you write out the number 426 as it's uh, spelled, notice how this sums to 104 in the standard reduction or Pythagorean method of Gematria. This reminds us of the date October 4th, 10-4. That's the date that Aaron Judge broke the home run record with number 62. But the number 104 also appears in the full name of John Michael Hardwick. 104 in reverse reduction. Measuring from October 4th, or 10-4, to Hardwick's death gives us 10 months and four days. On top of that, if you measure from Judge's birthday to the death of Johnny Hardwick, you get 104 days. 104 is also the reverse reduction value of total solar eclipse. And once again, next year, in April of 2024, a total solar eclipse will pass directly over the state of Texas. Johnny Hardwick died 244 days before that eclipse. In ancient Hebrew gematria, the word for kill sums to 244, as well as 19. And the number 19 has Latin gematria of 244. Now, this has been a number I've been talking about recently. If you missed my video on Hurricane Dora and the Maui wildfires, do check that out as 244 is mentioned there. So let's talk more about this kill code, right? This Hebrew word for kill, summing to 244. Well, in the standard English alphabetic order, the word kill sums to 44. Measuring from the date that Aaron Judge hit his 60-second home run to the date of Hardwick's death, was exactly 44 weeks. On top of that, Hardwick died 44 days before his birthday. In Latin Gematria, what I consider to be the most significant cipher, the word for kill sums to 59. Johnny Hardwick died on a date with primary numerology of 59. 59 is the gematria of both skull and bones, and skull and bones with the ampersand. In 
in the reverse alphabetic order, Kill sums to 64. Johnny Hardwick was 64 years old when he died. On the Skull and Bones emblem, if you multiply 32 times 2, you get a product of 64. And in Satanic Gematria, Skull and Bones equals 604. Now what's so remarkable here is that Hardwick died a span of 322 days after his birthday. And once again, 322, the number that's literally on Skull and Bones' emblem. Skull and Bones is also known as the Brotherhood of Death. Now, in Gematria, the Brotherhood of Death sums to 347. Using capital letters, the name John Michael Hardwick also sums to 347. However, there's another interesting value that sticks out. This 859 in standard gematria, a cipher constructed identically to Latin, but with the current 26-letter alphabet instead. Here, John Michael Hardwick sums to the 149th prime number, 859. Well, 149 is the ordinal gematria of skull and bones. This number even has more significance because skull and crossbones equals 223, and the 223rd prime is 1409, the same digits as 149. Now, whenever we talk about solar eclipses, a very significant number is 666. And I often link this presentation, which explains all the links found in the calendar and gematria between 666 and the moon. Well, in Latin gematria, Major League sums to an upside-down 666, 999. Judgment equals 99. And, of course, Aaron Judge wears number 99 for the New York Yankees. The character of King of the Hill, Dale Alvin Gribble. Notice how this name also sums to 99. When King of the Hill first premiered in 97, Johnny Hardwick was exactly 1999 weeks old. And that stands out because in the year 1999 is when Hardwick was awarded a Primetime Emmy Award for his production role on King of the Hill. But this also points us to what we call the crucifixion code. The number 1999 is another prime number, and it's the 303rd prime number. In ordinal, crucifixion of Jesus Christ and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ both equal 303. We're taught that Jesus was crucified at the age of 33 in the year 33 AD. And notice how the New Testament says that darkness falls over the sky during the crucifixion, akin to an eclipse. The word eclipse sums to 33 in reduction gematria. Hardwick's character, Gribble, also has Sumerian gematria of 330. And look how well the name Johnny Hardwick syncs up with ritual sacrifice, solar eclipse, and king of the hill. So... Let's wrap this up and talk about how this is connected to the annular solar eclipse that passes over Texas in October later this year. First, we begin with the gematria of King of the Hill, 215 in the reverse alphabetic order. 215 is the ordinal value of annular solar eclipse, 215. In another capital letter cipher, here we use the standard 26-letter alphabetic order, but then add 26 for any capital letter in the phrase. The name Johnny Hardwick sums to 215 in both caps added 
and reverse gematria. Double gematria of 215, syncing up with King of the Hill and annular solar eclipse. This annular eclipse belongs to Sorrow Series 134. Now, 134 is the ordinal value of solar eclipse. But notice how the last name Gribble, his character's name, also equals 134. Measuring from his death to the date of the 2023 annular eclipse gives us a span of 67 days. In Gematria, Dale Gribble equals 67. Notice how the words king and hill both have double values of 67. This is a number we commonly see in stories about death. Human sacrifice and blood sacrifice both summing to 67. The 67th prime number is 331. This brings us to the, rev uh, the riddle with the book of Revelation. Now, it's said that the book of Revelation was written by John of Patmos and is about the judgment of mankind. And here we have the death of a man named John connected to two men named Judge. Patmos, second coming, and God's son, all summed to 331, that 67th prime number in Latin gematria. So 67 links to 331. Well, the 331st prime number is 2221. And the final verse of Revelation, the final verse of the entire Bible, is Revelation 2221. And when Johnny Hardwick died, Mike Judge was exactly 22,210 days old, representing the same exact digits. And we know this is important because look where this 2023 annular eclipse ends. The final city that sits in the path of annularity for this eclipse is Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi in Latin translates to body of Christ. Before I wrap this up, I just want to look at the date of this eclipse. October 14th, written 1014. Notice how solar eclipse has this value of 114. Both king and judge have gematria values of 114 in various ciphers. Well, on 1014, Mike Judge will be exactly 11 months and 4 weeks after his birthday. Judge was born 11 months and 4 days before Johnny Hardwick's birthday, and Johnny even died a span of one month and 14 days before his own birthday. Once again, this points us to the major riddle with Major League Baseball, which has Latin gematria of 1140. All right, everyone. Thanks for jumping in. Whether you're watching live or archived, I always appreciate the comments and live chat. Particularly, messages about my cool cats. So thanks for that. All right, guys. Peace, love, God bless. And we'll talk to you next time. See ya.